Tested. Hey guys, I'm Will from Tested. I'm Norm from Tested. We have an HP touchpad. It mm -hmm. came out on Friday. Yeah, how you doing, Will? I'm doing good. How about you? Yeah. Good weekend? Yeah, it was fine. Yeah. You, you want to talk about the fireworks and stuff? No. I want to talk about touchpad. Good fireworks in your neighborhood? I haven't seen this yet. You haven't seen the, you, you just got I, here. I just got here. Yeah, so I picked this up at Friday on Friday on the way home from work at Best Buy. Uh, this is the 16 gig Wi-Fi edition of the touchpad. It's uh, $500. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a 32 gig edition as well. It's another $100. So but $600 only the Wi-Fi version is available right now. Well, they did this the right way. Yes. You know, when Motorola launches a Zoom, you had to get a, a contract with Verizon. It was a big pain in the ass to buy it. $800. Right. This is, this is the way you should launch a tablet, I think. And I've spent the whole weekend, uh, well, as much as I could, because I didn't have internet for a while, but I've spent a lot of time this weekend with it. It's, it's uh, interesting. It's a tablet. Yeah. So you know, it looks awfully like this. Yeah, shape and size, it is very comparable to the original iPad. It's about one pound, 10 ounces, nine and three quarter, I think, ounces. We're talking about 9.7 inch screen, which is exactly the same as the first iPad. Yep. Uh, same resolution, 1024 by 768. Yep. The screen looks good. Uh, responsiveness is really good. Is it an like, IPS screen? Uh, you know, that's a good question. I don't have any idea. I mean, I think it, it is. The, the viewing, viewing angles, angles are really are nice. Amazing. It's a good looking screen. Like, it's one of those situations where whether it's an IPS screen or not, I'm kind of okay with it because I, like, I can see screen really well yeah. at a super duper oblique angle. So, yes. um, it, pretty good looking machine so far. Uh, it has the basic iPad controls too. So, there's uh, one button down here at the bottom, uh, a power button at the top. And then, of course, a uh, pair of volume controls volume inside. Controls. It doesn't have the rotation slash mute, mute. lock, um, but it, the home screen works very similarly to the iPad. Uh, it's, it has a lot of the stuff from WebOS that I really like. So, the so key this is WebOS 3.0. Yes. It's the latest iteration of Palm, now HP's uh, web operating system, uh, which they will eventually bring to desktops. And this is the first device with WebOS 3.0, I think. Yeah, so the way this works, I'm just going to jump into email, so this is all clean and I know that we can look at it. But uh, yeah, this is the normal email client. It does uh, it, it gangs all your inboxes together. So you know, I have Tablet my with the email client. personal seen whatever. <laughs> Poor Rim. Um, I've used the email this weekend. It's nothing special. I mean, it's it's a pretty good ripoff. It feels like a ripoff of the. How is setting client. it up? Um, I mean, the email. So it, it, you can import Gmail. You can do Hotmail. Yeah. So Yahoo. I mean, I just put in my Gmail account information, and it pulled down contacts, calendar, all that stuff. I also do Outlook Exchange. Uh, yeah, it works with Outlook Exchange. It works with everything. Pop, IMAP, Outlook, Gmail, uh, a couple other things as well. Uh, now, the multitasking is interesting. So, you know, iPad, you hit the home button. It just goes back to the home screen. Yep. On this, I hit the home button, and it pulls back out to this card view. And then from there, you can, you know, you can either, you know, I don't know what bringing it down does. Oh, it makes it go away, too. Uh, you, can, you can go side to side, scroll between apps. Stuff actually will run in the background here. So... A while ago, I was playing a game on this because you can play Flash games. It has a Flash real browser. Built in. Flash okay. is built in. Unlike some Android tablets, you don't have to download Flash in the store first. It just comes running. Exactly. This uh, and it works. I would say reasonably well. Um, it does actually work. I tried to play some Flash games. That wasn't such a good experience. So right now, this page is loading. But as the page is loading, you can actually hit the home button. It will still load Go back the background. Over here, check out something else. You know, there's tons of other apps here as well. Um, yeah, it, it's it's a it's a much more capable browser than I was expecting for a first pass out of the tablet. I guess it's because this is the third version of WebOS, and, and you know we've yep. we've been through a fair amount of browser stuff before with these guys. So you said Flash um, games work. I assume Flash videos also. Work? Flash video worked reasonably well. Like I tried a couple of sites. There's uh, some stuff that that definitely didn't work. The higher resolution stuff was a little chunky. Oh, I like that. Um, so you just flipped away uh, within this card was were multiple tabs of the browser. Yeah. So the interesting thing here is. If I open uh, something that's going to open a new tab, uh, this is probably going to go inside the same browser. Yeah. Uh, let me let me go uh, to an can external hold, link someplace. I think hold? you can tap and hold. Try that. Oops. This is one of the places that the that it kind of breaks yeah, okay, down. There we go. Open a new card. So browser tabs are just cards on the home screen, which is which is really yes. awesome. Uh, and you can manage them, so that's the tab I open this from. Oh. I'm just going to make it go away. Nice. Uh, this works for other applications as well. So like if you have an email open with multiple emails to somebody, mm -hmm. uh, I can show that right now. Let's see, I wonder what that is. I'm a little nervous about opening. This is all connected with my personal accounts, so uh, you know, we'll see so how this let's, goes. Let's see what you're ordering on Amazon. Um, uh, let's see, what did I order on Amazon? Not Lord of the Rings Blu-ray. No, I watched those this weekend. They were really entertaining. Those are also uh, mine. Norman. All right, send me an email. I'm going to send you an email. I'm trying to type. Norman. So you have the keyboard popped up right now. How is the keyboard? Yeah. How's the typing experience? Uh, typing's pretty good. Now, the, the one place this breaks down uh, is that even though the hardware is relatively capable, I just put all your email addresses on the internet. Awesome. I'm so sorry. Um, hi. 
And the neat thing about this is it's in a separate card from the main mail client. So oh, I can come okay. back over here. It's not like you, when you start writing an email, yeah, yeah. you're trapped in that email forever like you are with iOS. And you can just slide uh, just that get rid of a message. And it saved it to the drafts folder. Oh, I do like notifications also. It looks very dynamic. Yeah, so this is one of the interesting things. The notifications pop down from the top bar. Mm -hmm. It's a little uh, bit more better integrated, I think, than the Android, you know, than the slide down thing with Android where you can get literally dozens and dozens of things in here. Uh, this is a Twitter client. Now, this is one of the shortcomings of, of WebOS right now is mm. the app that situation. Looks like, that looks like a Palm Pre. It is a Palm Pre. It's, this is an emulated uh, Twitter client. I couldn't actually find a good Twitter client that was native for the tablet yet, which is not terribly surprising since it came out on Friday. Um, but they've also had the SDK app for a while. So. It's been available for a long time. Uh, you asked about the keyboard a minute ago. Typing is quite good. It's not, you still can't do the two finger stretch across typing, yep. I don't think. But using the kind of one hand chord typing that I use on the iPad works really well. And I love that they use the extra web space, the extra space when you're using a phone app mm -hmm. for keyboard here, rather than using the on-screen keyboard on the uh, phone emulator, which is a big, yeah, big advantage. Yeah, that, that's how it is on, uh, on iOS. Small keyboards, nice. Okay, so uh, you talk about the Twitter client. There's also a native Facebook client. That's that's one of the big selling Yeah, so the native apparently. Facebook client is quite good. Um, I hope that there's nothing offensive in here. Always exciting to find out. I hit the wrong now, button. You know, HP says this was the first you know tablet with a native Facebook client. The, the BlackBerry Playbook also had a native, a native Facebook, Facebook client. client. Was it any good? It was okay. Uh, I haven't had a chance to use a touchpad one. Do you feel like it's better than the web app? Um, I, you know, I don't use Facebook that much, so I don't know that I'm in a position to really judge. Yeah, the Facebook clients, I, I mean, on um, iOS and Android, they're limited. You can't upload multiple files, I have photos at the once. Facebook app. You've broken the app. Here we go. Here okay, it goes. Uh, so this is a this is a recurring theme in WebOS. There's basically these little tab tabs, and you can slide them open to open oh. like side trays yep. in many many apps. Mail does this. Uh, uh, the browser, I think you can do bookmarks on the side. I'm not entirely certain about that. Uh, and a lot of the third-party apps will do this as well. It's for whatever reason, it's very slow today. Um, oh, it could be our Wi-Fi. How does it work in uh, landscape mode? Right now, you have a portrait. So right now, I have it portrait locked. Uh, there's, like I said, there's no switch, but there's it, no physical switch. You can get to many of the settings uh, over here, but this, in this top right menu, you just put, tap by the clock. It lets you set Wi-Fi. It lets you adjust the brightness dynamically. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot of the stuff that pops up when you double tap the home button on an iPad, basically. Okay. Um, uh, I, I immediately locked it in uh, portrait, mode. portrait mode because the it seems a little more sensitive than the iPad. You know how sometimes with an iPad or even the Zoom, you have to kind of rotate and then shake a little bit yeah. to get it to get it to pick up. This went immediately, pretty much every time. Uh, so I mean, you can browse photos and all that stuff. The native client is pretty good. It, there's not a huge uh, difference between this and the and the web interface, as far as I'm concerned, yeah. except for the ability to upload photos easily, which is not something I use Facebook for. So right. You're not a Facebook power user. I am not. A, I'm barely a Facebook user at all. Okay. Um, uh, when you mentioned photos, so there is one camera, so uh, that's what something the iPad 1 didn't have. There's only a front-facing camera. It's 1.3 megapixels, and uh, it can shoot supposedly 1080p video. Um, but I don't, I don't assume the quality I didn't, is I didn't that great. I didn't find the camera in my usings of the uh, touchpad at all. Like I don't know how to even access it, which is well. There's no there's no there's Skype no client on it right now, and right now you can do video chat, but only with other Web OS clients. Oh, interesting. I don't know anybody who uses Web OS, so that would make this a little bit of a challenge. Yeah. So um, this is actually going to the OS is going to make its way onto uh, future HP phones. It's going to be on everything. Yes. I mean they've announced it's going to be on all of their PCs starting I think middle of end of yeah, this year or something like that. Year, probably. So you'll be able to use WebOS. It's unclear whether that's going to be an emulated environment inside Windows or if it's going to be like a preboot. Like you start the computer and it goes to a browser, Skype, all that kind of stuff. Let's go run through some more apps. Um, yeah. So uh, let's look at photos. I'm in photos now. Um, this is basically this is one of the places that's HP this synergy thing that Palm. Uh, launched with the pre, and that's one of those things that lets you see status updates from all your different contacts in many different places. You can do the same thing here. It's only showing me my pictures from Facebook right now. I'm not exactly sure why that is. Um, but you can actually add like Snapfish, and uh, there's other services you can add as well. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't have Flickr, it doesn't have Picasa for fairly obvious reasons. Uh, but you can, you know, you can browse through this, and these are all the photos, profile photos I've ever had on Facebook, it would seem. Look. Beardless Will. Oh my God. Yes. Let's get rid of that immediately. Making it go away. That's a high intensity. That was my editorial oh, shot yeah, from XBC. Wow. Uh, this, so, yeah, I mean, the photo app is entertaining. It's not particularly magical. How does pinch to zoom? Um, pinch to zoom is 
not even, well, there we go. There it goes. It's a little chunky. Yeah. I mean, so there is a dual core CPU in here. It's made by Qualcomm, the Snapdragon uh, dual core 1.2 gigahertz. Yes. So that's going to be faster than what you'll find in both the iPad 1 and well, we think the iPad, iPad too. We've it, never actually... It's still core, but we don't know what it's clocked. Yeah, it's, exactly. a, it's a secret, yeah. secret so CPU So you do speed. like the responsiveness of the touch? Uh, for the most part, it seems really, really super responsive. You know, one of my big complaints about Android stuff is the kind of... It's not imperceptible, but it's the inconsistent lag when you're scrolling between applications, when yeah. you're launching new applications, when you're trying to type. It's very frustrating. This definitely suffers from that occasionally, although it's not anywhere near as bad as the Android stuff that I've used. And what other apps are built in? So uh, I assume there's a Maps client? So there's a, well, there's a messaging client. So okay. this is IM. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. I think I'm signed out right now because I didn't want to get a bunch of IMs while we were online. So it syncs with um, uh, yeah, Google, yeah, Talk, Google Talk, Yahoo, uh, MSN, I think. I'm not sure about that. I don't have an MSN account anymore. Right. Uh, and AIM as well. Uh, so yeah, here's my family. But HP doesn't friends. have their own ecosystem for like uh, messages. They may, but I, it's not something I'm ever going to use. OK. Yeah. I am turning this back off. Don't get IMs. Don't, Don't IM get right IMs. Now. Okay, closing that. Uh, the nice thing is the apps that run in the background, even when you slide the, the card away, mm -hmm. so that Twitter client card is gone, I'm still going to get notifications up here when I get new Twitter app replies. Oh, so the, actual, like the, mess, the app actually isn't gone completely. Depends on the app. If it uses uh. the background APIs, it seems like it'll run in the tray. I'm sure there's a way to kill it as well, but I, I actually quite like that as a feature. Yeah. It's very seamless multitasking, and it's clear. Well, there's a full gig of RAM in here. Yeah, the, well, it's a, it's a capable machine. And, and Palm, now HP, has been doing multitasking phone OSs for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. uh, so not surprising that they've kind of got that right. Let's see if we can figure out where we are. Oh, hey, look, we're there. Yeah, and I guess it's tracking us based on Wi-Fi uh, since we don't have uh, anything in here. You know, I don't know if this actually has a GPS in integrated. I would assume not since it doesn't have a 3G modem. Mm -hmm. um, so I tried searching for myself. And it looks like it's not pulling from contacts, or possibly I don't have the contact set up. See, it's just using Google searches. Hollywood. Oh, you Earth. Must, you you want to you know, we want to get a welcome to Earth here. That's what's happening. Okay, so this is it's just searching inside Got the it. viewing range. It's a, that kind of like what Yelp does. That's a little bit frustrating because I I expect it to be a little more fully featured uh, than uh, well I just did something bad. California. See, it's a, it's a little dopey, the map search. Bring us DPK. I mean, that's the thing, is it's just showing all the stuff in here. Now, the nice thing is you can do directions and bookmarks and all that stuff. It's not as fully featured as I've come to expect the Maps app, sure. either on Android or on iOS. Um, hey, while we're, while we're looking at this, uh, maybe uh, check with Ben and see if the chat has any questions. Uh, yeah. Uh, John, Longview, John Longview wants to know about the notification system versus Android and iOS. So the notification system, it's this guy up here. It also displays notifications on the lock screen, which I can show you in half a second. So these are the same notifications. You notice it pulled down from the top mm -hmm. up here. Can you launch it directly from, um, from that here? That is a good question. I don't you think cannot. so. No. Okay. I mean, maybe I can go straight there. It looks like all, it's all signs say no. Um, but one of the things that I do like is the dynamic search engine stuff. Uh, it, when you visit a page, like when I visited Tested the other night, it recognized that there was a search bar and said, hey, do you want to add Tested to your, to your iPad, to your mm -hmm. touchpad search, rather? Um, and you know, here we go, Wikipedia. Boom, mm. it's added. OK, so in the main search Congregate. bar, what you mean is when you type anything in, it'll search not only what's on your contacts and what's on the But any back, search engines you've added. But also search engines. So uh, I think I added Amazon. I can't remember. Of uh, the rings. Blue. Hyphen. Um, oh, I'm that's just going to go blue. Oh. oh, I didn't add Amazon. Um, but Google will probably take us directly to Amazon. Um, Very neat. So yeah, I mean, it's tied around search. Yeah, there we go. Two stars. I'm no, not going to that's, 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 that's a non-extended. I'm not going to click through there. Yes. Do not buy. Um, so the place that this really falls down, let's look at the apps that are installed. Yeah. Um, there's comes a, with Kindle. Uh, well, it comes with a Kindle app. Mm -hmm. Thank you for downloading Kindle. We're working hard to bring you the best apps for your HP touchpad. Oh, Kindle no. is coming very soon. Keep this app installed on your device, and we will send you a notification through Software Manager wow. as it becomes available. It's like a, it's like a bookmark to one of those construction like, that was, GIFs. Yeah, that was a, that was a grim find. Um, the apps that are on here, there's a Notepad app. There's a phone uh, app. This is if you're tied to the Palm if you've tied to your Palm Pre, similar yeah. to the way the BlackBerry uh, playbook mm -hmm. uh, will bind itself through powers of darkness to a, a, a BlackBerry. 
Uh, you can do the same thing here and access your voicemail, send text messages from the touchpad, which is super cool. Mm -hmm. It's the kind of thing that I would expect Apple would have uh, you know, led the charge on. Let's launch YouTube. Um, yeah, we can launch YouTube. Let's try what, that. We, we watched some YouTube videos last night on the interwebs. Oh. How's, the, how's the quality? Because like, of all the tablets I've tested, I felt like the iPad still has the best YouTube video quality. It taps into the high, the high quality I, streams. You know, I, watched, I clicked YouTube. Let's see if this happens again. Is it just the website? I think it's just a website, Norm. Oh, a little, little disappointing. It is just the website. All right. Okay. Well, play, it's, I wonder if it plays uh, the Flash version or HTML5 version. Well, we, were, we were close to finding out a moment ago. Uh, let's, let's go with the Corgi belly flop. This is always a popular video mm -hmm. for uh, demoing. Who doesn't want to watch the Corgi belly flop in super slow motion? I do. Uh, I'm going to rotate this. And play. Why can't Chloe do that? Chloe doesn't like jumping in water. When your legs are that long, when you're four inch legs, you can't afford to be a, a bold swimmer. Chloe doesn't want five million page views. Oh man, five and a half million. It's a testament to how much I like this video, that even though this dethroned Chloe is the most popular mm -hmm. Corgi video on YouTube, all right, so you can do full screen, and... Yep, nothing's playing. I haven't watched... Oh, wait, there we go. You get an ad. Looks like I, the ad's playing fairly well. I can well. skip the ad in a second. There's a little bit of frame rate hitch here, though. Yeah, totally. I'm skipping the ad. And this is only 480p. I think that ad was 360p. Now this looks, there it goes. Wait, no. See, this is the problem I had with other videos. Oh, there's, there's a little bit of chug. Why don't you uh, try getting out of full screen and see if it's still... Is, is chugging. You think just in the window will be better? Yeah. I think it's uh, probably a flash problem. Oh, still chugging. Yeah, I wonder if this is a flash issue or if this is, if we watched the HTML5 version, this would work better. Mm -hmm. um, well, I mean, we'll do a full review of this later and spend more time with each individual component. All right, how about the music app? Um, it, it was worth mo noting, though, that was running in the background. Ah. When I slid up, it kept going. Uh, and we can watch the videos untested as well. well I'll, uh, can let's we watch look. ourselves wow. right now. Uh, that seems like craziness watching the live stream. Should we try that? I think we should try it. Should we, should, you think watching the live stream is a good idea Absolutely. or a bad idea? I'm always in favor of opening holes you, in space-time. This is, this is going to end in tears. Or awesomeness. So you can, while you're loading that in the background, yes. uh, how about the music app? The music app? You know, I haven't used the music app. I don't, do you use music on your, on your iPad? Uh, I, I used to until I realized I needed the space for like magazines and videos. Yeah, music is okay. mostly on my phone. But it's nice to have a, a good music. And it's loading. Is it going to work? Oh. There's probably going to be an ad. In retrospect, this would have been a great thing to do in the background while we were talking about something else. How about a question from the chat, Ben? Hey, Will. Um, CTA Field wants to know who is this aimed at, home or corporate, and who is actually likely to buy it? Um, I think that they're launching this uh, targeted toward home users for the time being. It seems like a pretty good fit for corporate. Oh, that's really frame rate chuggy. You're collapsing space wow, time. Wow, there we go. Right now. I'm just going to hold this here for a while and oh see how this goodness. goes. Um, yeah, I mean, it seems like it's purely aimed at the home users for right now. It's a good yeah. question. Yeah. Uh, and we also have uh, the phone lines will be open momentarily. So uh, if you want to call in, uh, get your questions ready. And the number, I think, is 415-508-3975. It's 415-508-3975. Um, we're, we're two layers deep now. We, can we go deeper? Or should I just close this? I and think you should close it before. I'm just going to be running in the background. Happen. Look, it's just going to keep going all day long. Oh, no. um, I, I don't even know if this has, I guess there is a music app here. Let's see if it has music shipped on the tablet. I didn't think to put music on. Well, how about how does it connect with your computer? Is it just micro USB, USB? I didn't connect anything to my computer. It has a micro oh. USB port. Okay. Uh, so far, this has been an entirely untethered experience. Mm. Okay. Uh, and there, I, I foolishly didn't put songs on. I apologize. Um, yeah, so it's PC free. You do need internet access to do the initial activation, which kind of held me up the first day or so. Um, the nice thing is, like I said, the web browser is really the important thing here. Yeah, of course. The app situation is a little bit grim yeah, right let's, now. Let's take a look at the market. App Store is the, the app catalog. Catalog. As it were. Oh, it's kind of um, sky mall. Kind of, yeah. So there's a large number of featured apps. This is basically where you want to be for this thing right now uh, because it's the touchpad yep. enabled apps. There's a fair I number of the games. Is there so a, what are you an app for? for like movie show times? Movie show times. Something like a, a Flickster or I'm gonna I'm gonna go playing. type movie. You find that that's an important oops Twitter. Totally. Movie. One of the other things that's frustrated me is the search is a little bit inconsistent. Some windows you click on it and it wipes what's there. Mm -hmm. Some windows you have to manually wipe it out, which is a little bit uh, hinky, I think. I don't know what happened here. We're just gonna search for Mo. It looks Mo. like Motown. Mo 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 movies. Mo money. Mo Mo, Mo time. Mo video. 
I'm out of Moe's. Uh, no, the other thing that's missing on this, video out. Ah. I was a little surprised. Yeah. I was expecting um, uh, at least an HDMI output, uh, but not so much. I'm typing much slower than normal here. And I'm going to rotate as well. Yeah, so I, like, are there movie, is there a movie app? I want to see if there's Yelp. That's pretty important for me. Uh, what did you say? Yelp, possibly? Uh, I believe there is a Yelp app. The Yelp website works really well. No movie show times. Mm. Let's look at Yelp. Uh, hey, Norm, we have Ashley from England on the line. Ashley, how you doing? I'm all right. Uh, what's your question, sir? Uh, I was going to ask what the games are like, but I don't know if you're looking at them now. Um, so the games are, it's up and down, just like anything else. Uh, there are some of the standard stuff that's been on WebOS for a long time. Is there the game which shall not be named? Uh, the the one the with one the pigs with the, no, the fighting the, the pigs birds and the birds and I, the anger. No, I do not believe so. Uh, okay. I do not seek out that game anymore. Yeah. Uh, thanks for your question, Ashley. That, that, that's good. Uh, there's a lot of game off stuff. I don't think there's EA. There's a lot of indie stuff. It's basically a lot of the games that you'll see on pre. There aren't a lot of native games yet. And, and pricing is very comparable to what you'll find on yes. iOS and Android. Yes. And so no Pandora. Yelp app. Uh, let's mm. check out Pandora and yep, see. Yeah, that's if another we essential. A, yeah, I think you're going to be disappointed. Yeah. Uh, uh, there's a lot of paid versions of what would be free apps on other platforms, which is a little bit of a bummer. It's James Cameron's Avatar HD. Yeah. <laughs> um, there's n there, we're missing, there are big holes. Mm. Big, massive, enormous holes. Now, the place that this it's it's a little almost OK because the web browser is quite good. For example, I think we can probably go to the web Pandora in the web browser, and it'll just work, except for I haven't signed in. So. That'll, that'll take a while. Um, yeah. Yelp. Why don't, we, uh, why don't we take another question from the chat while I type, uh, type my password in here? Rebone wants to know about the battery life. Ah, so Will said, uh, I checked this morning, it was about 36%. Yeah. You got on Friday. It's Wednesday right now. Uh, I, well, I did, in fairness, I didn't use it until Sunday because I couldn't activate okay. it because my internet was down. So, so over about two, two days, days, two and a half days. days of use, uh, you haven't charged it at all. And you, I mean, you probably use it a lot. It seems very comparable to the first gen iPad. Yeah. HP says about nine hours. Um, and I'm inclined to believe them if you're not running a ton of flash video uh, in the background. We'll do a battery rundown test. We'll do another. Should we do another, a live stream? Another live stream. I, I found that folder full yeah. of videos on my desktop this weekend. Pre linker archive. Uh, Pandora is loading slowly. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, one thing I do like is it's a, it's pretty comfortable to hold. Yeah, the form factor. smooth back edges are really good. I don't know if you can see this, but the bezels are also rounded, so it fits in your hand really comfortably. Uh, there's plenty of bezels, so there's place to put your thumbs on either side. Uh, you don't find yourself hitting the wrong buttons and stuff like that, which I quite like. You did say it's about one um, pound, 10 ounces, so a little over a pound and a half. For you uh, people in Canada, it's 780 grams, I believe. That was a swift burst for mental arithmetic, Jan. Yeah. And uh, it is just about as thick as the original iPad. Yeah, it's a, I mean, it's, it's a little thicker at the thickest point and a little thicker at the edges. It feels like I can't, I couldn't tell the difference, except for one has a metal back and one has a plastic back. Let's see. It doesn't feel as tapered. It's well, def as definitely the iPad, not. So it's like the the the, uh, the slope isn't as steep in the back. And you don't have that hard the hard edges on the yeah. bottom where your where your finger goes. Um, things that I don't like about it, uh, I I I'm not a fan of the it it it, it turns way too quickly. Right, the accelerometer is too sensitive. Yeah. Um, Pandora is working. You are playing Pandora yeah, right playing now. Yeah, playing Pandora right now. So I mean that that's the saving grace of this whole thing. I've long felt that the browser is much more important than apps. Because uh, the apps are kind of a crutch until the browser gets to a place that it's actually usable. Uh, but I, I don't feel as though uh, there need to be more apps than we have right now for this. How about uh, customization? You can change the background. You can change the background. You can change the wallpaper. You want to try turntable, Norm? Uh, is that too, yeah, too, is that, that, a, that would be, that sounds crazy That seems amazing. like it might be a mistake. Um, you can change the background. If DJ like Astro really Mouse is watching right now, set up a room, yo. <laughs> Uh, we're going to have to sign into about 15 different things in order for this to work. So I think that, this might not be a, a great a idea for the stream. Of, uh, the um, maybe while I'm doing this, we I'll can get a, uh, a question from Ben That's in the question. chat. Twitch wants to know if it has expandable memory. No, it does not. This is no uh, SD card slot. Uh, right now, $500 gets you 16 gigs, and you pay an extra 100 bucks for 32 gigs. There is no 64 gig model at the moment. The, mo the model is iPad, not yeah. Android. I mean, there. This is clearly a device that's designed to compete with the iPad. The mail client looks remarkably similar to the iPad. Uh, not that that Apple invented anything new with that, but uh, you know, it's it's uh, it's an iPad competitor, not uh, not. You, 
having to open this up and put an SD card in would be bad for, for the people that they're trying to sell this to. Uh, more questions from the chat? And of course, we can also take calls at 415-508-3975. Uh, Guibone wants to know if the apps uh, update automatically. Uh, the apps, you get notifications. So when the apps, when there's a new version of an app, uh, you actually get a notification from uh, in the in the notification window. Software manager just comes in and says, "Hey, there's a new version of whatever app it is you have mm -hmm. installed." And um, do, do the icons have uh, are they dynamic? Like for example, when you get messages, does the mail icon pop up with a little number in the corner? Uh, that is a good question. I think I saw at least on, I think on, that on they the notifications. Do, yeah. The Facebook icon had it showed you. Yeah, so messages. I have two likes on my Facebook posts. Only two. While turntable is loading in the background, we'll see what's going on over here. So this is the Facebook app again. The Facebook app, if you are really into Facebook, I can see how this would be a popular thing for you. This is, must be the, the post that became Two weeks liked. ago, that would have been much more relevant. Somebody got liked. Some, S Smith liked me here. Uh, the thing is, I, I, I just, I don't, I don't, I'm not feeling the Facebook thing here. I'm not feeling it. Google Plus works great on this. I will go ahead and say that right now. Oh, and it looks can, like turntables, can, you, can, you can I hear? Let's see. No, Hangouts don't work. Whoa, there are two Astro mice. I, I, uh, nope, there's Ozone. Nope. Not a fan of him. Oh, wow. OK, so uh, it works. We're not hearing music, though. Oh, that's interesting. It may just no, be taking still, a long still time. Still loading. Uh, but it does support Flash, so that theoretically it could work, Good. in theory. Uh, any more questions from the chat or calls coming in? We're, uh, I think we're reaching the end of what we can talk about. If you guys want to see us demo specific apps or even download some stuff, let us know. Uh, the phone number is 415-508-3975. My uh, contacts are fuzzy. One question from the chat is, what specifically does this offer, if anything, that another tablet does not? Well, that's the question that I think a lot of people who are potentially buying tablets right, like are asking. Why, why buy this and not the iPad? Right. I, I, I think right now it's hard to recommend this. This seems like a first release for developers, people who are really, really interested in the platform, pre-owners perhaps. Um, I don't, without the apps, those, those five or six key apps, it's hard to recommend this. As yeah. a, as we're not asking a, just for from the first look. 100,000 apps. We're asking for like the, 10. the dozen or so that we know we're going to use every a, single a, day. A Kindle app, a yeah. Nook app. Um, right, a good banking Pandora, app. Pandora, music. RDO, you know, that kind of stuff. The banking stuff works fine. I actually used, I'm not going to show that here, but I logged into my Bank of America mobile bank account, and that worked uh, just fine on this. So, um, uh, What it does offer is this card system, the multitasking. Yeah, real multitasking, which iOS still really doesn't have. Yeah. Um, a, a much much more capable web browser. I haven't run the benchmarks yet. Uh, that's something we'll do for the full review in a couple of weeks. But it, it feels much more, uh, much just generally better. And I think we can even use uh, sites that are real flash heavy like Nike. I, I went to the Puma site this weekend, and it seemed to mostly work. Um, so we'll see how Nike goes. The, the browser is, makes up for a lot. If you primarily want to use a tablet for web browsing, this is a very compelling experience, I think. It's a German company. The brother, founder of Puma, founder of mm -hmm. Adidas. Uh, Norm, we have Andrew on the line. Andrew, hey, are you Andrew. there? Uh, hey, guys. How you doing? Am I clear? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're on. What's your question, sir? Um, you know how in the Android browser you could right-click and save like, things directly to the phone? Uh, Yes. You mean like with Chrome to phone or something like that? Yeah, you can't do that on iOS, but you can do that on Android. Yes. Can you do it on touchpad? Um, I'm not aware of a way you can do it on touchpad. There may be an app that lets you do that, because I know that's something that people, like I use that all the time when I'm using an Android phone. Um, I haven't found an easy way to do that right now. And it doesn't seem to share bookmarks across devices and, mm -hmm. and desktops either, which is a little bit of a bummer. Um, but thanks for your call, Andrew. Uh, thanks, you can guys. save files and save images, though, if you t hold them, right? Yeah, yeah, so um, I probably can't hear because this is going to be all flash. Oh, no, I can. Uh, yeah, copy to go. photos. And then, boom, it'll be up here in photos. Uh, of course, it grabbed the wrong image, so. Um, yeah, that's just how the website was designed. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, um, this is the HP touchpad. It's uh, out now. It's 500 bucks for the 16 gig version. That's this yeah. one right here. Best Buy is going to be pushing this pretty heavily. Best Buy had a ton of them when I was there on Friday, so. Uh, I think they had 11, and this was the second one that they had sold. So, you know, the interesting thing is HP really isn't marketing this heavily, uh, which is which is kind of surprising given the, what a big release is. But I think it's actually a really good idea. They want to get 
it seems like they want to get more apps and a better experience out there before they get normal Joe's spending 500 bucks on something that's going to be a little bit of a disappointment compared to the iPad. So stay tuned oh, hey, for our... Uh, we have one last question. One call. last question. All right. Uh, Kyle from Canada. How are you doing, Kyle? You're on. 100 and frogs here, gentlemen. Good question. Yes. Uh, have you checked out any of the stuff that's available? Oh, hold on. We, we lost you there for a sec. Can you repeat? Have you checked out any of the homebrew stuff? That's a, uh, I haven't checked stuff. out any of the homebrew stuff yet. I'll do that before the review. Uh, do, do you, you mean the stuff that you have to jailbreak to use or the stuff that is uh, um, just App Store stuff? No, the stuff that you, not really jailbreak, but to get it to the, the root level, basically, is. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, I'll definitely check that out. If you have recommendations, uh, post a thread in the forums or send me a message on Twitter or PM on the site or something like that, and we'll definitely take a look at that stuff. Will do. Thanks. Uh, thanks for your call, and thank you guys for watching. We'll be back uh, with more stuff. We have another live stream tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, we're going to take a look at the Google Chromebook at 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. So definitely come, I'm uh, sorry, 10 o'clock Pacific which is, I guess, 1 o'clock Eastern. Is that right? That is correct. Uh, so we'll be back then, and uh, see you guys next time. I'm Will. I'm Norm. Bye.